The Champions League is back for match day three and what a crazy day of football it was. We got to witness some insane goals, some incredible saves, and some results that no one could have predicted. The league table is slowly starting to take shape and after three matches, we're starting to see who's making the most of the new league phase format. Today, we take a look at all 18 games from match day three in the Champions League to see which matches stood out, who impressed us the most, and which teams are in desperate need of some good results. The Champions League is starting to heat up and we're all here for it. The first game of the day was a competitive matchup between AC Milan and Club Brugge in what felt like a must-win scenario for both teams. The Italian side were dominant from start to finish with Christian Pulisic opening the scoring from an Olympico goal in the 34th minute. The Belgian side would get one back in the 51st minute, but a brace from Reiners in the 61st and 71st minute would be enough to seal the deal. Milan finally get their first win of the season while Club Brugge sit just outside the playoff spots. The following match would take us to Monaco where visitors Red Star Belgrade had a day to forget. The Serbian side managed to get a goal from the penalty spot in the 27th minute, but the home side would get five goals of their own including a beautiful strike from Singo in the 54th minute. A one-sided match from start to finish and an interesting one as well. Moving our attention over to London, Arsenal would take on Shakhtar in what should not have been such a close game. Arsenal had plenty of chances to score throughout the match yet their only goal would come from an incredibly lucky bounce that came off the visiting side's goalkeeper in the 29th minute. Arsenal now has 7 points from 3 matches and have shown a lot of promise in this new Champions League season. Staying in England, the next game of the day would take us to Birmingham where Aston Villa faced off against Bologna. Both sides would have some decent chances in the first half but the game would remain scoreless going into half time. Aston Villa would be the dominant side in the second half with goals from McGinn and Durant securing the three points for the home side. Aston Villa now have three wins from three matches and they could easily be the dark horse team in this competition so keep an eye out for them. Taking our attention over to Catalonia, Girona and Slovan Bratislava would take to the field looking for their first points of the season. The hosts would have no trouble getting on the front foot with Gutierrez scoring in the 42nd minute followed by a gorgeous free kick goal from Juanpe in the 73rd minute. The Spanish side get their first points on the board while Slovan Bratislava sit firmly at the bottom of the table with zero points. Moving over to Italy, Juventus easily put up the most disappointing performance of the day in their contest versus Stuttgart. The hosts managed just one shot on target throughout the entire match and were outplayed for the entire duration of this game. Stuttgart worked incredibly hard and deserved every ounce of this win which came from a last minute goal from El Bilal Toure deep into stoppage time. Juventus will have a lot to look back on from this game and almost none of it will be positive. The only draw of the day would take place in Paris as PSG weren't able to find a way past the slumping PSV side. Noah Lang would open the scoring for the visitors in the 34th minute after a beautiful strike from outside the box would find the lower left corner of the PSG goal. PSG would get an outside of the box goal of their own as Ashraf Hakimi's strike in the 55th minute would find the back of the PSV net to finishing the game level at 1-1. PSV get their second draw of the campaign while PSG continue to unimpress in this season's Champions League. The most exciting match of the day would take place in the Spanish capital as Real Madrid and Borussia Dortmund played out a thrilling rematch of last season's final. Dortmund would get the first two goals in this match after some sloppy defending from Madrid would see Malin and Gittin score in the 30th and the 34th minute. But in classic Real Madrid fashion, they would mount an epic comeback that saw them score five straight goals. Rudiger would get his first goal in the 60th minute, Vasquez would get one of his own in the 83rd minute and Vinicius Jr. would get an impressive hat trick to put the hosts on top after a wild match. Real Madrid are starting to come to life in this tournament while Dortmund seem to be slowing down after their hot start to the season. The final match of the day would take us to Austria where Stormgras and Sporting CP would face off in a fiery encounter. The match was much closer than the scoreline suggests but a strike from Nuno Santos in the 23rd minute and a gorgeous run by Jokeres in the 53rd minute would be enough to give the visitors the win in a truly entertaining match. The first 9 games of match day 3 did not disappoint and we still had 9 more matches to go. The first match of the following day would see Atalanta take on Celtic in the day's only nil-nil draw. Atalanta were easily the dominant side throughout the match and had multiple chances to go out in front. Whether it was good defending from Celtic or an inability to convert their chances, the match would end in frustrating fashion for the Italian side. Next up would be the highly anticipated match between Brest and Leverkusen. Florian Verts would open the scoring in the 24th minute, but the hosts would equalize after a beautiful volley from Pierre Lise Malou in the 39th minute. Leverkusen were far from impressive in the second half as both sides came away with a 1-1 draw. Both sides remained undefeated in the competition and sit comfortably in the top 8 for now. Taking our attention over to Spain, Atletico Madrid would start their match against Lille in impressive fashion. A huge defensive error from the French side would lead to Julian Alvarez getting the opening goal in the 8th minute with the host going into halftime with a 1-0 lead. Lille would mount an insane comeback in the second half with Jagrova scoring a beautiful curler in the 61st minute and David getting a brace in the 74th and 89th minute to seal the deal. The next game of the day would also take place in Spain as Barcelona hosted Bayern Munich in the most anticipated match of the day. The game would start strong with Rafinha scoring in the first minute followed by two goals from Harry Kane of which the first was disallowed for offside. Lewandowski would get his first goal in the 36th minute and Rafinha would get two more to complete his hat-trick as Barcelona ran away with a 4-1 victory. An absolute masterclass from Barcelona and another pathetic showing from Bayern. Moving over to Portugal, Benfica faced off against Feyenoord but it wasn't smooth sailing for the hosts in the first 45 minutes. Feyenoord would take the lead after a goal from Ueda in the 12th minute, they also had a goal disallowed by VAR in the 26th minute and doubled their lead in the 33rd minute after an impressive goal from Malambo. The hosts would get a goal back from Aktor Koglu in the 66th minute but Malambo would get his brace in stoppage time as the visitors came away with a commanding 3-1 victory. Moving 
Moving our attention over to England, Manchester City faced off against Sparta Prague and wasted no time getting their opening goal. Phil Foden opened the scoring in the third minute after a great run through the Czech defense and his goal would be the only mark of the first half. The second half would be the opposite of the first as goals from Haaland, Stones and Nunez would see the host put five past the helpless Sparta Prague side. Moving over to Germany, RB Leipzig and Liverpool would play out an incredible game from start to finish. Chances were coming left and right for both sides in the first half with Leipzig's opener being ruled out for offside in the 26th minute after which Darwin Nunez would open the scoring in the 27th minute. The second half would be just as exciting as the first half but RB Leipzig couldn't get a goal for the life of them and with Opena's 83rd minute goal getting called back the match would end 1-0. Leipzig are now winless in the three matches they've played despite looking solid in all of those games. Going over to Austria now Salzburg and Dinamo Zagreb faced off in search of their first wins of the new season. The first half showed almost no promise at all as very few chances would go either way with the game scoreless at halftime. The Croatian side would come out on top in the second half as goals from Kulenovic in the 49th minute and Petkovic in the 84th minute would give the visitors their first win of the season. And lastly the final match of the day would take place in Switzerland between Young Boys and Inter Milan. While this match was also scoreless at halftime, the hosts were doing a great job on attack and came close to scoring throughout the first 45 minutes. The game was nearing an inevitable 0-0 draw, but some excellent team play deep inside stoppage time would see Marcus Taram grab the only goal of the match in dramatic fashion. Inter Milan and Young Boys are third straight loss to this campaign as they continue to climb the league table. A fascinating day of football comes to an end, but we still have a long way to go. After a thrilling match day three, here are the biggest headlines from around the league. Monaco were very convincing in their win over Red Star, and considering their run of form after three matches, they could easily sneak into the top three if they can keep this level of play up. The same can be said for Aston Villa who have managed a perfect record so far in the tournament with their next match against Club Brugge looking to be another comfortable victory for them. Juventus were easily the worst team on paper in all these matches and while they are dealing with injuries at the moment this match needs to be a huge wake up call if they want to have success for the rest of the season. Real Madrid continue to show why they are the best team in the world and no matter how they start a match they always seem to find a way to win after 90 minutes. Brest continue their incredible run as they find themselves fifth in the table after their draw against Leverkusen and could genuinely reach the knockout rounds if they can keep this form up. Bayern Munich suffer yet another embarrassing loss at the hands of Barcelona and if they don't solve their defensive problems soon they could easily miss out on the top 8 spot which would be disastrous for them. Manchester City are starting to show just how good they can really be and while they haven't faced the strongest teams yet their defense is yet to concede a single goal so far so keep an eye out for them. And lastly Leipzig's record so far is not indicative of how they've been playing and despite a slow start expect them to mount an impressive comeback with 5 games left to go. After match day 3 this is how the league table is looking. Aston Villa, Liverpool and Manchester City make up the 3 English teams at the top of the table. Monaco and Brest follow close by while Leverkusen, Inter and Sporting CP make up the top 8 teams. The playoff spots are full of powerhouse teams as Barcelona, Madrid and Juventus look to make it back near the top. Feyenoord and Stuttgart are back in the mix while PSG and Bayern Munich find themselves exactly where they don't want to be. AC Milan and Atletico Madrid need to get out of the elimination zone as soon as possible while the bottom 6 teams remain without any points on the board with 5 games left to go. But what did you think of match day 3 in the Champions League? Which team surprised you the most and who do you think will keep their form up? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more football content, tier lists and everything in between and as always I'll catch you next time.